Yes. Great to be in Berlin tonight, you know, November 9th. Uh, happy Kristallnacht. Um, if you're celebrating, I just came back from Amsterdam. It's still a tradition there. <laughs> it's true. Yes. So I had a show the night before that. And I went on stage and it was just the day after Trump was voted in. And, and I was like, what a great day to be European. <laughs> and boy, was I wrong. <laughs> So what happened was, if you don't know what happened, there was a football game. It was between Ajax Amsterdam and the Maccabi Tel Aviv, which is the Israeli team. A lot of racist chants being yelled out, you know. Uh, one side was uh, making a lot of chants about Jewish people and Jews and how they feel about Jews. And the other side was making very racist comments about Arabs and what should be done to them. What happened at the end was uh, people were hunting Jews on the streets of Amsterdam. That night I decided to stay at home. Yeah, because I was lazy. The next morning my mom calls me at seven in the morning and she's like, where are you? Are you okay? I'm like, let me sleep. <laughs> she starts sending me articles and, and I'm like, oh, this has gone down here. What happened then was the same thing that happened after October 7th, after my brother was attacked here in Berlin, I have a younger brother. He was this year, he was attacked by a Palestinian student in Berlin for being Jewish, and he almost died. He was sent to the hospital. And the same thing that happened after he was attacked and after October 7th, the same thing happened in Amsterdam. People were like, oh, they provoked it. The Israeli fans provoked it. They tore down flags. They were chanting, and that's why it's fine. It's understandable that they were hunting down Jewish people on the streets of, of, of Amsterdam. And it's not. It's just not. If I were to go around and try to beat up every person who tore down an Israeli flag in the world, I w my arms would fall off tomorrow. <laughs> it doesn't mean that it's fine to tear down Palestinian flags. It doesn't mean that the chance that th those Israeli fans were shedding, that they were not racist, it doesn't mean that. But it's never a justification. You know, uh, two wrongs don't make a right. Yeah, because by that logic, what, 40,000 Palestinians that, were, uh, that died in the, in the last year? justified because of October 7th, you know? It's, not, it's never justified. You can justify violence with more violence. Sure. I don't know, I saw this video of, of this man yelling, I'm not Jewish. I'm not Jewish. And, and then he's being knocked out, and it did something with me, and, and it reminded me, and I know it sounds dramatic, but it reminded me of 80 years ago. The atmosphere of people asking, give me your passport, are you Jewish? It's horrifying. You can be against everything Israeli fans chant, but never in the world you can guarantee that the same people who took down a flag are the ones you attacked on the street. Otherwise, why would you ask them for their passports? It's not like you're, you know, oh, it's exactly those people. You're collectively seeking out people of a certain descent, of a certain origin, and you hunt them down. It's not activism, it's just racism. And <laughs> and I understand none of this is funny. What was pretty funny though is the morning after, I traveled back to Berlin by train and I think I am the first Jew to escape Amsterdam to Germany. <laughs> by train. <laughs> the people that took down the flag and the people who are chanting racist shit. But you know, it's time to talk about like how can we have people hunting down Jews in Europe in uh, 2024 and, and why do I have family that has to go to university with a security guard?